In 1400 BC, the Hittites used a guitar-like instrument with only four strings. 1300 BC, the oldest iconographic representation of a guitar-like instrument, a stone carving of a Hittite bard playing a stringed instrument, dates from this period. In 1200 BC, Romans developed the kithara, based on the stringed instrument used by Greeks. 40 AD, the Romans bring the kithara to Portugal and Spain. In 700 AD, the Moors conquer the areas where the kithara is popular, and they introduce the four-stringed ode, which in turn leads to the modification of kithara. 1100, the four-string guitar that develops from the kithara into two types the Moorish guitar and the Latin guitar. In 1400, the viola comes into existence and remains the preferred string instrument over the guitar for the next 200 years. 1600. Due to the many difficulties of playing and tuning the viola, it is eventually replaced by four and five chorus Baroque guitars. In 1800, general alterations are administrated to the guitar. These include fan struts, a raised neck, and a fingerboard made of ebony wood. 1890. Antonio Torres Huardo redesigns the guitar of the 1800s, increasing the size of the body and neck. This leads to the development of our modern day acoustic and classical guitar. In 1900, acoustic and classical guitar used as popular modern instrument. Guitars work like most other string instruments. Each string is fixed at both ends, on a guitar at the nut and the bridge. These two points are the nodes. The vibrations of a string are called standing waves. The tension of the string changes the frequency at which the string will vibrate. To tune a guitar, you are adjusting the amount of tension on the string by either loosening or tightening it. Increasing the length or tension of a string increases the frequency at which it will vibrate. Decreasing the tension will decrease the frequency. The body of a guitar is a resonator. The vibrations from the string enter the resonator causing resonance, which improves the quality and amplifies the sound of the guitar. Different pitches are created on the guitar by altering the length of the string. When you place your finger on a fret, your finger becomes a node, which in turn shortens the length of the string, therefore changing the pitch. Sometimes this alteration of the string can cause the intonation to be off. This is why the bridge on some guitars is slanted in order to compensate. How it was built. We use an acoustic guitar as a model and base most of the measurement of it. First we found a piece of wood that was longer than 34 inches and wide enough for a sound hole with an area of 9.6 inches squared. This wooden plank would be the neck and the body of the guitar. Next, we drilled six holes, three on each side, at one end of the prank for the tuners. We decided to use real guitar tuners so that the tension required on each string would be achieved. The next step was to make the nut and the bridge. To create the bridge and the nut, we cut two thin pieces of wood and made six slits in both for each string. The slant of the bridge helps to maintain the guitar's intonation. Afterwards, we had to make a sound hole, or sound holes. The sound hole is what allows the sound produced by an acoustic guitar to be amplified. We calculated the area of the sound hole of an acoustic guitar to be 9.6 inches squared, and the largest bit we had that could drill large holes was 3.14 inches squared, so we calculated that three of the smaller holes would be almost equal to the one larger hole. The next step was to add the strings. This was done by first drilling six holes in specific locations behind the bridge. Then we inserted six bicycle spoke nuts that were conveniently lying around my garage. Then we strung the guitar by feeding the strings up through the back and then leading them down the length of the guitar before fastening them to the tuners. In order to assure the strings would stay in their slots in the nut, we added six screws right before the nut. Next, we tuned the guitar and marked frets 1 to 12 for easy reference while playing. The final step was to make the box. This was done by cutting off the lid of a shoe box cutting grooves into it, then filling in the gaps at the top with the leftover material from the lid. Lastly, we fastened the box to the rest of the guitar. What to change? We think we did succeed in making a guitar that can play any note a regular guitar can. It can play a lot more than six notes, and it's quite unique. However, if we were to make another one, we would probably make the neck of the guitar a little thinner, so it could be played like a regular guitar, not a slide guitar. 
and we would also decrease the height of the knot so this pitch isn't changed when you place your finger on the first nearest to the knot. 